Watch Fox's Tara Pettit joins us now live from the inaugural gala at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center where the first family and their supporters are celebrating another term in office. Governor Nikki Haley enjoying the inaugural ball here at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. All this coming just days after she was the target of a federal lawsuit. Haley and the Department of Social Services sued on Monday after a series of struggles with the Child Welfare Agency. Haley admits the last four years in office weren't always smooth sailing, but promises to move the state forward during the next four. My dreams for South Carolina know no bounds. Governor Nikki Haley giving her second inaugural speech on Wednesday, making promises to continue striving for progress in South Carolina. The events of recent times, the revelation of misuses of public funds, public office, and worst of all, the public trust have shaken the very soul of our state. Admitting to a less than perfect government, Haley said the people of South Carolina deserve more. It is both our opportunity and our duty to restore to the people of South Carolina their faith in their government. It is not about us. It is about them. Haley faced ethics accusations during her first term, but was ultimately cleared. However, former House Speaker Bobby Harrell resigned this past fall after pleading guilty to ethics violations. Ex-Low Country Senator Rob Ford also pleading guilty to misconduct in office charges on Wednesday. It's going to be imperative that Nikki Haley not only talk about ethics, but also live by example. And, you know, her ethics background is also uh, not not crystal clean. The Department of Social Services has also come under heavy fire during Haley's first term. Legislative hearings and audits revealed an agency with few resources, overburdened caseworkers, and unreliable data on children's deaths. Haley has since appointed a new DSS director and promises change, but this week Haley and the agency became the target of a federal lawsuit filed on behalf of 11 children currently in DSS care. The last four years have seen changes. The next four, we'll see more of them. In her first term, Haley has touted her success with job creation by helping lure manufacturing giants to the state, including Bridgestone and Continental Tire. Haley has also fought for government change, including roll call voting reform, pension reform, Medicaid reform, and illegal immigration reform. She also pushed tax relief for small businesses and created an inspector general to help remove waste and abuse in state government. There is no limit to what lies ahead for South Carolina and her people. We're just getting started. And just a little bit about the inaugural events that happened today. In 2011, records provided to the Associated Press showed that at least $530,000 was spent on Haley's privately funded inaugural events. Some of the uh, South Carolina's largest manufacturers and energy companies pro provided about half of that in 2011. Haley's ca campaign manager, Tim Pearson, says they expected to spend about the same amount th at this year's inaugural events. Live in Columbia, Tara Pettit, Watch Fox News.